Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be Monday Night Raw News number 57. There is not a lot of news, but let's just get right into it. Uh, the first thing is the return of Cody Rhodes to WWE. Returned at WrestleMania 38, defeated Seth Rollins. Starts off Monday Night Raw and he's interrupted by Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins basically tells Cody Rhodes, welcome back to the WWE. And that's really about it for that. Uh, the second thing is a tag team match, contendership match. Sasha Banks and Naomi versus Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley. Winners of the tag team match and contendership match, Sasha Banks and Naomi. So technically, that means that Liv Morgan and... Uh, Rio Ripley don't get a championship match, but then you find out later in the show that Rio Ripley actually talked to Adam Pierce and Sonia Deville, so now they're actually getting a tag team match. I don't know how that works, but I I guess. Uh, third thing, Kevin Owens segment, uh, interrupted by Ezekiel, aka Elias. So. Um, we finally get the reveal of Elias' new character. His name is Ezekiel. He's the younger brother of Elias. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea where the hell they're going with this. And I do not like it. I feel like when the next uh, release cuts happen, Elias will be on that list. Because I have no idea where they're going with this character. This character is a bad fucking idea. And I like the irregular Elias. I like Elias. I don't like Ezekiel. I like Elias. The shirt I have in there is fucking Elias. Not a fucking Ezekiel. And what's up with him in these fucking trunks? Dude, he wasn't in trunks. He would wear a shirt and some pants. What the fuck? What the fuck is WWE doing with Elias? They're legitimately ruining his character. They ruined his old character, replaced it with this character. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I don't like it. We all know this is Elias, not Ezekiel, the younger brother of Elias. This is Elias, so I don't like it. I don't like... I don't like it at all. I don't like where it's going. Screw that. Just go back to a regular Elias with his music thing. Yes, I know about Rick Boogs, but fuck Rick Boogs. Rick Boogs is on Friday Night Smackdown. Elias is on Monday Night Raw. Please, WWE, don't make this mistake and go back to the original Elias. Please. Uh, the fourth thing, singles match, Dominic versus The Miz, winner of the singles match, The Miz. Fifth thing, Veer Mahan destroys the Mysterios. Finally, Veer is finally on Monday Night Raw. Now, I got a rant to WWE about this because this has been way too long. I saw Veer Mahan on Monday Night Raw last week. It, it went, well, it went, well, it was actually a main event before the Monday Night Raw. So, I was like, we've been waiting this guy for six to seven months now. And he's just been on the main event the whole fucking time. Bring his ass on the TV. What the fuck are you waiting for? I'm sorry I'm cussing so much in this video, but... The stuff I fucking saw tonight pisses me off. First with the Elias thing and then Veer. Veer, they've been doing promos for like six to seven months now of how he's going to be on TV. Now he's on finally on TV and he starts a few with the Mysterios. Come on. Like, I know it's a good to start a few with Rey Mysterio, but like, we've been waiting six to seven months for this guy. After WrestleMania, you decide to do this? You could have done this shit before fucking WrestleMania. I don't know why the fuck they waited so long. It's fucking stupid. That's my rant about beer. That whole shit pissed me off. 
And then the Elias thing happened, which pissed me off even more. So, I'm kind of a little bit mad at WWE right now with what they're doing. But, I will give WWE the benefit of the doubt. I will play along with the Ezekiel gimmick. I want to see what they actually do with Veer. Now, if these two get released, I blame WWE. It's their fault. Because of their ignorance. But anyway, I'm rambling on too much about this stuff. I gotta go on with the news. Uh, sixth thing, Bianca Belair segment. Seventh thing, singles match for the NXT Championship. Dolph Ziggler, champion versus Brock Ritter. Braun Breaker, winner and new NXT champion, Braun Breaker. I don't understand this at all. I honestly don't understand. Like, why didn't they just have Braun Breaker win at Stand and Deliver? I, I don't understand. Like, I legitimately don't understand. Like, what's the goddamn difference? He would have won at a big pay-per-view instead of Monday fucking Night Raw. Like, what the hell are they doing? I don't know. I, I just don't know about that. I don't know why the fuck they did that. They shouldn't have, but they did. I don't know. Fucking stupid. Uh, a thing, Bobby Lashley segment interrupted by Omos. MVP turns on Bobby Lashley. MVP is now with Omos. Omos viciously attacks and destroys Bobby Lashley. Uh, ninth thing, Queen Zelina on Carmella segment. Queen Zena, Zelina attacks Carmella. Yeah, I'm not surprised by this. You know why? I knew it was going to happen. I didn't even have any prior knowledge to this. And I knew it was going to happen. So WWE is pretty predictable. If you watch wrestling as long as I have, you know WWE is pretty predictable. And... I knew that was going to happen. Am I, ha am I happy it happened? Yes, I am. I think Queen Zelina will have a good singles run. That's if WWE uses her character right. If WWE uses her character right, then I think she will have a good singles run. Uh, Tenth thing, Austin Theory and Uso segment. Eleventh thing, six-man tag team match. Finn Balor and RK Bro versus Austin Theory and the Usos. Winners of the six-man tag team match, Austin Theory and the Usos. Twelfth thing, Edge segment. His supporter is Damian Priest, interrupted by AJ Styles. AJ Styles going and attacking Edge. AJ Styles is, uh... Livid, stopped by Damian Priest, Damian Priest and Edge, finish, AJ stopped. So, the whole thing with this, like I said before, I said it last night, um, Edge is starting a new faction with Damian Priest. I don't know how many people will actually be in this faction. Like I said last night, my news is very limited, but it looks like it's going to start out with Edge and uh, Damian Priest. Their first target is AJ Styles. Um, AJ Styles will be facing Damian Priest on next week's Monday Night Raw, which will be Monday Night Raw News number 58. Uh, 13th thing, tag, uh, 13th thing, Texas Tornado Tag Team Match, Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. Winners of the tag team match, the Street Profits. And the 14th thing, Roman Reigns segment, Undisputed Universal Champion Roman Reigns. You better fucking acknowledge him, bitches. Acknowledge your tribal chief, Roman Reigns. He is the one right now. Anyway, guys, uh, that's Monday Night Raw News number 57. If you guys like this video, please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time peace period